Hey, 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 it's Faith Kids. I'm Captain Faith. And I'm Captain Joy. Faith Kids, we want you to come along this exciting adventure with us as we get into the message of faith together and look into the Word of God as a family of faith. I'm so excited for this series of faith because the Bible is very clear that without faith, it is impossible to please God. And that's why we have done this series. I know that your faith is gonna be built. You're gonna grow. You're gonna learn to take action in the Word of God. And you're gonna see your life truly transformed formed and changed. I'm so looking forward to the upcoming episodes of this first series of ours here at Faith Kids. You can keep your eyes open and peeled for exciting characters such as Captain Joy, who's with Woo! us right now, <laughs> and we're going to be seeing Mr. Fit, Mrs. Fit, we'll be seeing Pink Petal, meeting other people such as Professor Fire, Professor Bold, amongst various other characters who you'll be meeting in the upcoming episodes, as well as our very own Christian superheroes, Faith, Faith Man. Man and Faith Woman. We're excited to be a part of this awesome journey with you. We want you to keep along the journey with us, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So simply like us, subscribe, and follow us, as well as keep your eyes open for our website. All you have to do is search Faith Kids, and you'll find us right there. Have, let's go have a look, see what our team have in store for us as we learn a little bit more about the message of faith and as we walk together on this journey of faith. I need to get hold of God because I have so much problems and I want a new bike. I'm going to call the problem line. Yeah. I feel sick. Hmm? Oh, do you? Oh, tell me more. Oh, can you please help me? I want a new bike. All my friends has one. This is not the line for help. This is this is where you explain your problems. Well, everything is bad down here, <laughs> and I <coughs> it's getting worse and worse. <laughs> Sounds nice. Come, tell me more. Um, wait, hold up. Is this the right number that I dialed? This is the perfect number you dial. Come, tell me more of your problems. You I'm not getting anywhere here. Yeah. But you called the I'm problem line. Gonna, I'm just gonna hang up on you. What? No, don't, don't, don't. Tell me more of your problems. I'm done with you. I'm enjoying this. No, 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 no. Call the problem line. I am just gonna call the desire line because I ain't got no time for the problem <sighs> line. Hello. Hello, Father. I received my new bike. I receive it in Jesus' name. The bike is yours. Yay, did you hear that? The bike is mine. I received my bike. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name. Who, who would you call the desire line or the problem line? Let me tell you, Faith Kids, you need to call the desire line. And remember, pray the desire and not the problem. Hey, Faith Kids, today's Bible story is found in Genesis 6, verse 1 to 13. It is a story of after what Adam and, and Eve did. As you guys know, Adam and Eve sinned. As a result, because they had sinned, the Lord chased them out of the Garden of Eden. And because of the sin that had happened, the world was corrupted and the world did stuff that was against the word of God. The Lord wanted to punish the, the world because the world was wicked and did corrupt things and things that were against the word of God. But then there was one man, a man that was named Noah. And I'll read it for you guys. And it's found in verse 8 and 9. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah was seen by the Lord as a righteous man because him and his family walked and lived according to the word of God. The Lord told and commanded Noah to build an ark. And when he told Noah to build this ark, he said that it was going to rain. And it had never rained. Imagine, you're building a boat and it has never rained. He followed the Lord because he knew that God was a faithful God. And he knew that faith is you acting on the word of God. And he built the boat. When the boat was finished, Noah took his family and two of each animal and put them on the boat. And when they went on the boat, the people were laughing at him because they said it would, it would never rain. And guess what, faith kids? It rained and rained. And the people that were laughing at Noah, they actually drowned with the water. 
faith, kids, let us remember, faith is you acting on the Word of God. When the Word say, says you have to do something that is according to the Word of God, it is you acting and it is you doing what the Word of God says. Remember, faith, kids, we walk by faith, which is the Word of God, and not by sight. Welcome to today's lesson. I am Professor Fire, and in the laboratory, we normally play with fire. I'm Pink Petal, because petals are pink. Well, in this case, they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome today, Faith Kids. We want to encourage you to get your Bibles and notebooks, your pens, as well as those highlighters. And we really hope you've been highlighting in your Bibles and taking some notes as we get into the Word of God together today. We're going to be speaking about the just, just shall, shall live, live by, by faith. faith. <laughs> We are so excited to speak about this lesson today. And our foundation scripture is found in Hebrews 10 verse 38. And it says, now the just shall live by faith. Mm. Another translation says, and my righteous ones will live by faith. But I will take no pleasure in anyone who turns away. You see, this life of faith, this is a journey, this is a lifestyle. Faith is a lifestyle. It's not a quick get rich, quick scheme yeah. at all. It is a lifestyle. And the just shall live by this lifestyle. Right. It's a lifestyle of faith. So we've spoken about many things over the series. We've spoken about what faith is, what faith can do, that faith is not a mental thing, but it's a heart thing. How faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God, not just from having heard, but continually hearing. Mm. Why we need faith, we've spoken about all different aspects of faith. How we can say, how we release our faith is by saying it, by praying it and by acting on our faith. We also spoke about that we need to not just hear God's word, but we actually need to do. We need to be a doer of the word of God. So important. And I love this portion of scripture because it clearly shows us that, and we've said, I think, in every single episode, that faith is what pleases God. You can see here that the just shall live by faith, but it says this in the last part of that scripture, that if anyone draws back, God takes no pleasure. He's not pleased in those who draw back. In other words, what we have to do is keep our eyes fixed on the Word of God, keep our eyes in the Word, keep our eyeballs in our Bibles, that's what we have to do, and to make sure that we are focused on what Jesus is telling us to do, where He's calling us to go, what He's telling us to say, and not looking back to what could have been or to what those old friends of yours are doing. Uh -uh, don't look back. That doesn't please God. What pleases God is faith, and faith always moves forward, and we're believing that this is the generation that's moving forward in faith, and that's going to please God. So we also spoke about how we can actually build up our faith. We build up our faith by going to church, by sitting under the Word in church. We also build up our faith by reading the Word of God and hearing the Word of God, actually opening up our Bibles and reading out loud. Mm -hmm. We also learned that the way we're gonna get faith is by listening to a sermon, maybe on YouTube or on podcast. We also learned that by getting how we're gonna get faith, by watching Christian television, listening to Christian Christian radio. This is all different ways on how we can get faith because we've also learned in previous episodes that without faith it's impossible to please God. So we know that faith is very important to God. We could say, Josanna, Brad, why are you talking about all this faith stuff? Why is it important in my life? Why can't we just talk about something that's, you know, very easy? But the thing is, we know that faith, we need faith to please God. We also know that whatever maybe you might be going through, whatever mountain you might have faced, whether it be depression, sickness in your body, whether it be something to do with family member, whatever, the way we're going to conquer that mountain, the only way we're going to conquer that mountain is by faith. Come on, that's Remember, right. that's how we're going to do it. Remember, we've got to speak to the mountain. We also learned in previous episodes that we need to confess the word. Not only do we have to hear the word and, and get the word like that, but we need to make sure that we actually speak in the word of God out our mouth because that's where the power lies. We also learned that as faith comes into your heart, remember, we can't just speak positive things or positive declarations per se, but that faith needs to be so real on the inside of you. Yeah. It needs to be burning on the inside of mm. you. That scripture, that word. And then when we speak it out our mouth, that is where the power lies. That's so true. I want to encourage you with this here because a lot of people, or a lot of children might say this here, you know, it's too expensive or that's too hard or I wish I had that. Well, you don't have to wish anymore because faith isn't wishing. Faith is not taking a risk. 
faith is the victory that overcomes. Mm. Faith is a conquering force. Faith is an overcoming force. And you don't have to wish for things or, you know, I, I just I desire to have that there or, you know, I, that's just so expensive. I'll never ever own that there. What we have to change is the way we speak and the way we think. Because in order, for, in order for us to live by faith, we have to change the way we think and the way we speak. And you're able to change that there by getting the Word into us. Because the Word says in Romans 12 verse 2 that we are transformed and changed by the renewing of our minds. What changes us? It's the Word of God that changes and transforms our minds. So in order for us to be the just, to live by faith, to be the righteous ones, we have to change the way we think and the way we speak. So we're not speaking that's too expensive. You'll just say, I'll be back for you later. You don't say, I wish I had that. You speak it into being. Father, I thank you according to your word that those things which I have not, they will be established. You can call them into being. And what we have to do is build our faith, take action upon it, and God will give you strategies on how to get those things that you're desiring. And this is the thing. Faith begins where the will of God is known. So you have to know what the will of God is for your life. It's sometimes, you know, as we be speaking about this faith, stuff, you might say, um, you might come up with all different things saying, this is my desire, but is it God's will for your life? Because faith begins where the will of God is known. So mm. you might say, you know, I want a hundred Xboxes, I want a hundred um, <laughs> Playstations, I want a hundred, um, all these various things. N no offense against any of that, it's all great. But we might just say we want all the stuff and faith goes way beyond just getting stuff. This is what we must realize. Our faith and our hope is in Jesus first. Our focus is on Him. So you don't just use faith to get stuff and to get all these things. Faith begins where the will of God is known. And remember, God's promise in His Word is that He will bless the faithful man or woman. So it's so important that we remain faithful, faithful to His call in your life, faithful to His Word, faithful to His promises, faithful, remain faithful even in your place, in your church where you're serving, remain faithful because God promises that He will bless the faithful man, He will mm. bless the faithful woman. This is very important. I want you to turn your Bibles with me to Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 11. I want you to listen to this short portion of scripture because this is all about asking, seeking, knocking and I want to show you this today because here I have in front of me, I have a snake and I have a stone and I want you to listen to this portion of scripture very carefully because this is the way we're meant to live our lives by faith. Listen to this. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 11 says this, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find knock and it will be open to you. We can see three keys here, is to seek, ask and knock. We have to be seeking the word, asking God and continually knocking on the door and God will answer. And it says this in verse eight, for everyone who asks receives, he who seeks finds, to him who knocks it will be opened to him. But what man is there among you who if his son or his daughter asks for bread and gives him a stone? Now, if you're going to ask your mom and dad for some bread, do you think your mom and dad are going to give you a stone instead? I mean, P Pink Petal, can you imagine this here? Asking for bread and then you get given the stone to eat. Sure. There's no ways you're going to be given a stone when you ask for bread. Then it says this here. Or if he asks for a fish, will he be given a snake? Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to have fish on your bread, and then you're going to be given the snake to eat. No one's going to want to eat the snake. I mean, come on. Then it says this here in the latter part of this portion of scripture if you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly father who is in heaven give good th give good things to him who asks you see how important it is to ask you see how important it is for us to live a life of faith to live a life it says that the just shall live by faith that word just is the righteous those who are righteous those who are holy those who are living righteously according to the word of god making sure that you're not hanging around with those wrong group of friends that you're not doing the wrong thing you find yourself in the right place at the right time with the right people doing and saying the right thing that's living by faith you know if i had to say to you that i have a sweet in my hands over here would you believe me well i can't see the sweet that's the thing, <laughs> you can't see. If I had to say I've got a sweet or a sucker in my hand right now, would you believe me? This is the thing, faith, that's exactly faith. You have to trust and believe me that mm. there is gonna be a sweet that's right. Remember, this is true, that faith is believing what you can't see. Mm. I'm gonna say that again. Faith is believing what you can't see. You can't see that I'm physically holding a sweet in my hands. But look here, boys and girls, I am. 
I am holding a sweet and Come I on, am holding right. a sucker. So faith is believing what you can't see. It's believing God's word, believing his promises, even when you can't see it, even when your body is not telling you so, even when your family member, you can't see it. Faith is believing. That is what faith is. It is believing God. It is trusting God. It's trusting His Word above what you can physically see mm. with your natural eyes. Come on. Amen. Come on. We want to pray with you, Faith Kids. I want to encourage you to go back and listen to the series the all about faith. Just shall live by faith. Go back and listen to the series. Today's lesson, the just shall live by faith. We believing that you'll be the faithful ones, the just ones that will live by faith. So I want you to lift your hands to heaven. We want to pray over you as we conclude this series. Father, I thank you for every single child, every single faith kid, for those parents and guardians who have been faithful to getting, to getting them to watch this series. Father, I thank you that this generation is not going to finish in hell. This generation will be shaken by the power of God, that they will live by faith. I thank you, Lord, that things won't be difficult for them. Things will be easy. What took their parents years and months will take them weeks and days. Father, I thank you that you would quicken their mortal bodies, that you would send provision ahead of time for these children, that you would preserve them in this final hour, and that you would use them mightily in the name of Jesus to live their lives according to your word and ultimately to live by faith. We declare this generation saved, and we call these children blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We just really want to encourage you that you would take a step of action and put your faith into action. Confess the word, continually hear the word mm -hmm. and have a close relationship with Jesus all the time. It's based on your relationship with Jesus. Faith is not just a, a product that you can separate from Jesus. It comes from our relationship with Jesus, That's hearing right. the word, confessing the word, acting on the word. And remember, you are the just and you are going to live by faith. We want to encourage you to keep living by faith, keep walking by faith, keep talking by faith. We want to encourage you as you've listened to this whole series on faith. It's faith that empowers you to keep moving forward. And we believe Amen. in faith, kids, that you're going to keep moving forward by faith. Thanks for watching this lesson today and being a part of today's lesson. Remember to keep living by faith. Hey, faith kids. I am Mr. Fit, and I hope you guys have been practicing your exercises at home because we are learning some more new exercises this session. So basically, we are just going to be modifying the exercises you already know. So for the first exercise, it's a wide squat. So instead of doing a normal squat, you're just going to put your feet slightly wider apart and your toes facing more out. That simple. And you're going to go down and up, down and up. So I want you guys to do that with me 10 times. Let's go. And one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10. There we go. Awesome. Right, so now for our next exercise, we're gonna be doing mountain climbers. But now a normal mountain climber is on the ground like this and you bring your knees straight forward. But for this mountain climber, we're gonna bring our knee across our body. So your right knee is gonna try and touch your left elbow. Right, and your left knee, touch your left elbow. Right, so why don't you guys do 10 with me. And one, back, two, back, three, and back, four, back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. So now for our next exercise, it's still another version of mountain climbers. So it's slightly different. So what you're gonna be doing, instead of bringing your right knee to your left elbow, you're gonna bring your right knee to your right tricep. So it's gonna be on the same side, right? So you're gonna pinch, bring your leg to the side, touch your left tricep. Same on the other side. So I want you guys to do that with me for 10 times. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There we go. All right, so that's all I have for you guys this se session. Remember to practice this at home, and I hope to see you guys next time Be you more fit than now. Remember not to only stay spiritually fit, but also physically fit.
Hey Faith Kids, the lesson today was talking about the just shall live by faith. So today's craft, we will do a sword and a shield of faith. What will you need? You will need colors, a permanent marker, glue, fluffy balls if you want your, your shield or your sword to be colorful. You will need a scissors, blank paper and color paper. So I'll show you how you can do your shield. So with me, I've already cut my shield out, but I'll use a blank paper to show you how to cut it. So you fold your paper in half, and then it has to look like this. And then you take your scissors, you cut it like this. Wait, wait, let's cut it again. And then from at the bottom, you start from the edge. And then this is how it will look. So I'll use the one that I've already cut. Now, the second thing we can do is to cut out the cross. So, Let's cut the cross together. You take your page. I've already folded it in half. So you fold the paper in half and then you cut your cross. And then this is how your cross should look like. And then the second thing you do, you paste your cross in the middle, like that. So I'll show you how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look like this. And then now let's create the, the holder for your shield. So you take a blank paper or colorful paper, and you fold it. And then you fold it again. You can use cello tape or glue to paste it. And then once you're done with that, you take it. So I'll use the one that I've already created. So you take it, take glue. Before you take glue, fold it by the edges. Let's paste it with the glue. This is there, there. And now you'll be able to hold it. Let me fix that quickly. There. You'll be able to hold your shield. And then you can write faith like on this one. The second thing that we're gonna create is a sword. The first thing that you have to do, let me close that. First thing that you have to do, let me put all these aside. The first thing that you have to do is take your paper and you fold it like that. Fold it in half. And then you take the scissors, you cut it and then it will look like that. If you wanna use glue or tape, you can use that so that it's like this. And then this is how it will come out, like this. And then you can write Sword of the Spirit. So this is how it will look. So you will hold your shield and the Sword of the Spirit. So remember, the shield is your shield of faith and the sword is the sword of the spirit. Boys and girls, remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. Hello, faith kids, and you are back with Miss Sprinkles. Today, you will be making pretzel M&M kisses, okay? It's very quick and easy. So if you have pretzels at home, if you have M&Ms, if you have chocolate, listen, there's all the ingredients. Pretzels, M&Ms, some chocolate, 
white chocolate and dark chocolate, okay? You melt it for like five seconds in the microwave. Make sure it's nice and, nice and smooth, okay? You mix it all together. You can use white chocolate or dark chocolate, but I'm just putting both, okay? I'm using both because I'm weird like that, guys, but I love it, okay? So you mix it all together. You put your pretzels down on a plate or a sheet or whatever that you have there in front of you. And then you put your chocolate on like that. And then you place your NMMs on there. Any color you want, okay? Just like that. And there you have your pretzel NMM kisses. And it's very nice. It's packed with energy. Let me tell you, it's packed with energy. I hope you guys enjoy that easy recipe. With me, Miss Sprinkles. Happy baking! Hey Faith Kids, let's jump straight into today's memory verse. And today's memory verse can be found in the book of James chapter 1 verse 22. And it goes as follows. But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourselves. Come on Faith Kids, let's jump into James chapter 1 verse 22 again. But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourselves. Trust you are blessed by the scripture, faith kids. Stay blessed and remember, keep walking in faith. Hey, faith kids. You can never be able to walk by faith unless you have a personal relationship with the Lord. As the Bible says, you have to confess and believe in your heart. You can repeat after me if you want to make Jesus the Lord over your life. Let's say it together. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart, forgive me of my sins, wash me, cleanse me, set me free. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I believe that you are risen and that you are coming back again for me. I am saved, I am born again, and I'm on my way to heaven. I know my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I am saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, boys and girls, we walk by faith and not by sight. Faith Kids, I trust that you enjoyed that episode on learning a little bit more about the message of faith. We want to encourage you to send us a DM on Instagram or Facebook if you have any questions where we can help you in your journey of faith. And just like when you go into water, you get wet. So too, when you are listening to the Word and hearing the Word of God, it's a natural result of getting faith when you do that. And that's exactly what's happened today. I believe your faith has been built and your life will never be the same again. It's that message of faith that brings life to you and turns things around. And we're believing that God is turning things around for you in your life and in your family. Remember that God has good things in store for those who choose to walk and live by faith. Until next time, remember, Jesus, Jesus loves, loves you, we love you, and we will see you soon.